From a Clark perspective, the Parky Creeve story couldn't have had a happier ending. After all, the Rebels won their 52nd Munster title in the last provincial final before the 70 million euro redevelopment begins. 38 years ago, this historic Cork venue opened its doors to the public. It was a unique design with its bowl-shaped structure maximising the amount of space available. This was to be uh, a major stadium in the country. We had to utilise every square foot of space and that essentially means a total bowl. We had no options other than that. We couldn't afford any corner wastage at all. Over the three decades plus, there have been many memories, leaving Cork fans yesterday a little nostalgic. Every championship match at least we've been down here, and a couple of league matches, cold winter nights, so the lads love coming here. Bruce Springsteen, and then I met my husband, who was a Tipperary man, so then I started coming to GA matches. <laughs> you mean it, it was a Tipperary man converted a Cork yeah. woman to the GA? <laughs> Indeed. There'll be a fair degree of nostalgia, I suppose, concerning the stadium coming to a close this year. Uh, but it went out on a high note uh, with a great success. It started, I suppose, out with a victory over Limerick in a Monster final in 1976 and the cycle has been completed. It really is the end of an era for this wonderful stadium. A 38-year life story has come to an end for provincial finals. However, it is anticipated that the Cork County Hurling and Football Finals will be played here next October. The Bulldozers will arrive in January and by the Championship 2017, a brand new invigorating stadium will be built here. On the banks of my own lovely Lee. Marty Morrissey, 14 News, Parky Creeve, Cork.